Greetings, YouTube. The doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. And we got a whole bunch of new offers today, and I thought I would come in on a Friday and review them really quick so you know what I think and what my opinion is and whether I'm going to spend money on those or I'm going to spend units on these or... And if you want to take my opinion to heart and not do it or do it, that's up to you. But that's why we're giving our opinion. All right. So, this popped up today. We've got three different bundles for either a seven-star Colossus or a seven-star Domino or both. Plus some Mutant Sig Stones. So, bundle number one is the seven-star Colossus bundle. It is going for a whopping... Three like three hundred and twenty-five bucks. That's so nine thousand five hundred. In case you don't know how to figure out how much units cost, you just go over here real quick. Three thousand one hundred is a hundred dollars, and five hundred units is roughly not quite thirty dollars, not quite ten dollars, like fifteen dollars. So it's like it's like three hundred and fifteen dollars. All right, so we've got this Colossus bundle, which is a seven-star Colossus, plus five seven-star Sig Stones for a mutant. That's not a whole lot of Sig Stones for $315. Then we've got our seven-star Domino bundle, which, again, is a seven-star Domino plus five signature stones for a seven-star mutant for $315. And the big one for... 15,000 units. The other two are 9,500 units or $315. The big one is 15,000 units, which is essentially 500 bucks. It's probably not quite. It's probably like 450. But for around $450, you're going to get a 7-star Colossus, a 7-star Domino, and 20 7-star Mutant Sig Stones. What do I think about this? Well, let's pull our little grade thingy over here. There it is, and let's pull the arrow in. And what do I think about that? I am giving that an F. I don't think that two seven stars and some seven star six stones are worth that much money or that many units. I am just not going to spend that on there. And I and these are two champs. They're good champs. Don't get me wrong. Colossus and Domino are great champs, but. Colossus is better if he's awakened, and he is the most optimal when he's awakened and max sig. He must be max sig, because then he keeps his armor ups, which does more damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Domino, great champ. Again, really needs to be awakened. Kind of needs to be high sig. So you're not really getting a whole lot um, on that front. Okay. In addition, I'm also giving this one... Uh, let's, let's pull the arrow back here and let's talk about it first. So for 2,500 units, and again, if we look over at the units, here we go. 2,400 units is not a hundred dollars. It's not 50 bucks, but it's probably like $75, something like that. So if we look at this for 75 bucks, Roughly 2,500 units, you're getting a five star Colossus and five, five, six star. I'm sorry, you're getting a six star Colossus and five, six star mutant Sig Stones. These Sig Stones are easy to get, though they're pretty much worthless. For another 75 bucks or so, six star Domino, and again, the five, six star mutant Sig Stones. And then for double that, so for about 150 bucks, you're getting a six-star cable, a six-star Colossus, and a six-star Domino. Plus, you're getting a six-star Awakening Gem for a Mutant and 20 of the six-star Sig Stones. This is a little bit better. It's still not great. I don't think it's worth it. It's not game-changing. Um, again, uh, Cable is not the best champ in the game. Back in the day, he might have been okay with a Apocalypse Synergy, but today nobody uses him. Very few people use Colossus. 
I have a Colossus as a six star who's awakened in a max sig, and I have a seven star Colossus who's awakened and has a pretty high sig. But I'm not really using him in any of my um, gameplay at all. And then we've got Domino, who is I do use my Domino, but I have a seven star Domino who's awakened, not so high sig, but but I've got the Domino. I don't really use my six star Domino anymore. Is it a game changing? Will it change your account? Is it an account changing purchase? No. And that is kind of where we go with this. So I'm going to give this one uh, just because there is an awakening gem that is present with this one. I'm going to give this one a C minus. If that awakening gem wasn't there, I'd be giving this an F. But there's an awakening gem. I wouldn't suggest using that awakening gem on either one of these champions. Maybe if you had like a dust or you had like a onslaught or a toad you know maybe those are champs that i use all the time all right in addition so let's get this off camera here and let's get this back in place in addition we got some some unit store offers that came out today. So we've got this Paragon Mutant Bundle. So for 30 bucks, you are getting five Paragon Mutant Nexus Crystals. Paragon Crystals are horrible crystals. They are absolute trash. And making them Nexus doesn't make them that much better. It's still a 1.5% chance to get a 7-star. I would much prefer, I would much prefer if these crystals were Valiant Crystals instead of Paragon Crystals. The Valiant Crystal has a better drop rate of 2%, and a 7-star Nexus Crystal could get dropped, but these are Paragon Crystals, and they're Nexus Paragon Crystals. Not a great crystal. 1.5% drop rate for a 7-star per panel. There's 4 stars in here. You're probably going to get, you could get 3 4-stars, which is horrible. Then we're getting half of a Tier 6 um, we're getting 50 tier 6 mutant ISO and 1.5 million gold. This is probably more of a Paragon to Valiant bundle instead of a Valiant bundle. Um, if this is being offered to Thronebreaker players, then it's probably pretty good. Um, I, I'm not going to purchase this because I don't think I, could, I would get anything out of those Paragon mutant Nexus crystals. So, um, if you're a Paragon player, I would give this one, uh, let's bring our thing over here again, and let's get the arrow out. I would probably give this a straight up C. Just, uh, don't think it's worth it. Um, if you're a Thronebreaker player who's trying to get to Paragon, well, that's different if you're being offered this, then I might buy one of them just to see what you get because you might get a good six-star out of here out of those Paragon Mutant Nexus Crystals. But as a Paragon player, I give it a C. If, if you're being offered this as a Thronebreaker player, then I would give it a B. Uh, if you're Cavalier, well, you're getting this one. So Cavalier Mutant Nexus Crystals, which have a drop rate of a 3% per panel for a 6-star. Again, not great. I actually like the Cavalier Crystal better and the Cavalier Nexus Crystals better than the Paragon Crystals. But they do have a chance of dropping a 3-star, which is not great. You're getting half of a Tier 5 Mutant Catalyst. You're getting some Tier 6 Mutant ISO, and you're getting 600,000 gold. That's 20 bucks. For Cavalier players, um, I would give this probably a C plus. And if you're uncollected and this you're being offered this, then I would probably give this a straight B. It's probably it, these bundles are more worth uh, if they're being offered to players that are lower, like one tier lower than each one of these. So for this, for the Paragon bundle, it would be if you're Thronebreaker, and for the Cavalier bundle, it would be if you are uncollected. All right. Okay. That is what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Oh, you got three days. Got to mention this. You got three days for that one. 
and this other one, you got three days. So if you're going to get it, three days. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in, and I will catch everybody later.